Hello, and this is uh, another tutorial on API data sign with Python series. Today, I want to briefly introduce you to uh, IPDB, that is IPython debugger, uh, that is uh, especially useful when you're doing uh, working with Python and uh, API test, doing API testing with Python. So basically, installation is simple as uh, any other uh, library that is with Python. You have to, all you have to do is pip install IPDB. So, so there is actually another version, PDB. Basically, the only key difference that I see between the two is uh, IPDB has some uh, shows some colors uh, for uh, while debugging and uh, the PDB do not do not. So uh, yeah, let's see how we can work with this. So uh, I'm just going to set a uh, what is called a breakpoint here by just by simply importing IPDB OB and calling the method IPDB dot set trace here in the same line. Uh, this so this acts as a breakpoint. Uh, let me just run the code here. Python space the file name as test underscore debug dot pi. So basically, what this uh, uh, program doing currently is just uh, just making a simple API call and getting the response. So at line twelve, I have set a breakpoint. So uh, let's uh, if you do a search for IPDB commands and probably click on click on the first link there is IPDB cheat sheet. You will find a list of commands that is useful. Uh, with uh, IPython, so there's H for help, weird up, down break, clear, CL for clear, and etc. So the commands that I, that I mostly use, are, uh, first one is uh, just next, uh, N for next. If you do just N and hit enter, so basically it ju will just go to next line. So uh, then uh, there's a uh, jump command that you can use uh, basically I, I want to go back to the line say the previous line uh, uh, say uh, 11 and now I'm back to 11 so let me just do next one more time and next again now I'm on line 13 now suppose if I do step Yes, yes for step and hit enter. Now I'm basically I'm making the call at line 13 for I'm calling the method get response. When I do yes, it will get into get inside that method. So here you can observe uh, what is going on. So uh, if I do R, that will that will should go to return statement. Yeah, I'm at the return statement. Then if you do C for continue it will just resume the uh, execution so this way I can uh, just continue the continue until the end of the program or end of the next breakpoint let me just run it one more time so uh, why this is uh, useful especially with the API testing usually you uh, requests are in the format of a dictionary and it has a lot of parameters um, Suppose you want to tweak some of that parameters and change few of those parameters and want to check what is the response is, you can easily do that with the IPDB, especially since this is an interactive debugger. In some uh, IDEC might have seen there is some debugging tool, uh, there is even options for setting the value, but uh, for me this is uh, especially helpful uh, since this is uh, this is uh, interactive. That's. So suppose. Mm, now let me just check the value of params by just typing uh, params it will I'm sorry params by the way there's one more feature there with this that is you can do auto completion just by pressing tab partially typing something in tab and it will give you options then if you hit enter it will show you the values so uh, suppose I want to change the value the page basically this is the query parameter JSON uh, dictionary that has uh, query parameters. In this case, there is just only one parameter. 
so i'm just going to i just i'm just going to say change this to params of page i'm just going to assign this to 1 now my params has a different value page has a different value that is 1 now i can actually call the same method get response right response if we do auto completion then pass params as parameter so it will basically give me a uh, return me json response also like i told you in the last tutorial you can do pretty print with the uh, of json so i do pp space and then call the method right so this should work for the changed parameter as you can see so this is one of the reasons why i use this with api testing so it helps me to tweak the different parameters and uh, do different uh, you know big quests and check check the different responses so this uh, these are the, the two key features like uh, like one is the uh, uh, is the auto completion and uh, another one is the uh, the main point is that uh, you can do interactive debugging along with the uh, option to tweak you and change your parameters so uh, that's uh, a brief uh, introduction to IPython. Of course, there's a lot of commands here that we can make use of. So these are the one that I mostly use uh, for uh, API testing, especially. So thank you for watching.